So once the preganglionic fibre has reached its pre-vertebral ganglion, the postganglionic fibre then travels along corresponding blood vessels to innervate the target organs. So it's a good idea to get to know the blood supply of the abdominal organs in order to understand the innervation. So for example, the lesser curvature of the stomach is supplied by the left gastric artery. So the innervation to this lesser curvature will follow the same blood supply along the left gastric. And if we look at the liver, for example, you've got the common hepatic artery going into the proper hepatic and then dividing into the right and left hepatic arteries. And the innervation will follow from that celiac ganglion along this blood supply to supply the liver. Now, more broadly speaking, you've got four gut structures which are supplied from the celiac ganglion, mid gut structures supplied from the superior mesenteric ganglion, and hind gut structures like the descending colon, sigmoid colon, rectum supplied through the inferior mesenteric plexus.